Hello world, it is uh, Monday, May 17th, 2021, and kind of a bright day, but <clears throat> overcast, but warm. It's much different than last week. It was 55, I think, when I got up this morning and ran, and I believe it's supposed to be hot this week, so I'm under the gun to get the pool open. Today's devotion is entitled Continual Remembrance by Vince Amlin. Vince bases the devotion upon Exodus chapter 28, verse 12b and 29, New Revised Standard Version. Aaron shall bear the names before the Lord on his two shoulders for remembrance. Aaron shall bear the names of the sons of Israel in the breastplate of judgment in the, on his heart when he goes into the holy place for a continual remembrance before the land, before the Lord. Vince writes, <clears throat> for many years I wrote on my hands, school assignments, phone numbers, important times and dates, scribbled on the heel of my palm at a safe distance from the sweaty center. It was how I tracked my commitments, how I made sure to show up, how I kept in mind the people and places I might otherwise forget. And often enough, I still did, until I was spooning up some ice cream or shaking someone's hand, and there it was. There they were, a reminder. Aaron is apparently the same day, same way, prone to forget the ones God has given into his care. So God writes their names on his body. Supposedly to remind God, but who are we kidding? Aaron carries his people on his shoulders over his heart, just in case he forgets. I would like to say I outgrew the practice of writing on my hands, that I'm just too grown up or a professional for that. The truth is, I just got a cell phone. It's full of all the same stuff. People to pray for, ways to get in touch, times when someone's counting on me to show up. Held close to my body, almost always on my person, a continual remembrance of the ones that God has given me to carry on my shoulders and in my heart. In Vince's prayer. God, may your dear one's names be on my heart and in my mind today. Amen. Well, sometimes different odd things go through my mind as I'm reading, and devotional, and this was one of them. And it's funny that I talked about the um, in my sermon on Sunday, uh, the Franklin Covey Institute, and because um, I actually had a palm, I still have my palm. Um, my Palm Pilot, do you remember those? Keeping track of dates and times and addresses and phone numbers and stuff um, long before um, smartphones ever existed. And uh, I, I, it was something I needed to remind me of things, to remind me of meetings, people I needed to call, tasks I needed to complete, and, and so on. That was one thing that crossed my mind during this devotion. The other thing was, um, it sounds almost like he's talking about tattoos, and then there's other parts in the Bible that talk about not marking your body. So which is it? You know, sometimes that's the way devotions go. Just strange, different kinds of thoughts enter into your mind. But the one thing um, I think it's important to understand is his comment about um, God writing the names of the people on Aaron's body, supposedly to remind God. But God remembers and knows us and loves us and cares for us. We have to work at remembering one another and loving and caring each other, caring for each other. So if you don't do it, if you have a calendar, start writing down maybe one name a week of someone you can touch base with. See how they're doing. See if there's anything you can do for them. Some people um, in the pandemic are still reluctant to go out and uh, do anything. And if you're willing and able to do something, maybe you could help them out. Maybe you could remember them. Maybe put them in your phone, if not on your calendar. Hope you have a good day. I will talk to you again tomorrow.